What's going on YouTube? It's your main man, Mr. Council, back with another one. Saturday Motivation. You know how we do. I chose Saturday because Saturday is a day that's uniquely your own. Most people working 9 to 5. So by the time they get to Saturday, they feel it's necessary to take their foot off the gas. But most artists, um, creatives, business minds understand that Saturday is the day to put your foot on the gas and handle your business. I'm excited today. That's why it's going to be hard to not do a lot of smiling during this video. Um, I'm not happy because of any particular reason. I'm just happy to be alive. I mean, some days I wake up on cloud nine and I feel great. You know, other days, maybe not so much, but it's good to be alive. It's good to be here. Um, it's good to be with you. Um, I don't want to keep you long. I know I say that all the time, but um, just have some things uh, that's been rambling through my mind all week that I want to discuss. Um, I feel like this is really becoming therapy for me because I'm coming up with a lot of things on my own that I didn't discover about myself. I'm learning new things about me and other people, and I'm just so happy to be on this journey with you, and I'm glad that many of you are taking this journey with me. Um... I want to talk about entitlement issues today. Most people, most of us, I'm grouping myself in this, as I always do. Any any time I discuss something on here, I want you to understand I'm talking about me too, because I don't want to come um, from a position that I'm trying to look down upon people or anything like that. But I want to talk about entitlement issues, and most of us have them. All of us, I think, have entitlement issues. And it's not maybe not necessarily what you're thinking about, but um, many of us think we deserve things, like anything. Like many people feel like because they were born who they are, that you deserve things. The only two things that you get in this life, things that you're blessed with and things that you work for. You don't deserve anything on any level and I know that's hard to swallow <laughs> take a second and swallow that pill I know it's hard to swallow it but that's what the truth is you don't deserve anything I don't deserve anything so people when they walk around saying I deserve this I deserve that it's coming from a place of entitlement and many people don't even realize it I didn't even realize it when I was saying things like that I deserve this. I deserve that. And I heard something powerful in one of those Motiversity videos that I tell you guys I watched. I'm actually going to leave one um, in the description today so people can really um, see what I'm talking about. And maybe we'll get um, inspired by some of the videos that I watch. But something I heard changed my whole perspective on everything. And I, I'm not sure the guy's name. Um, but I was listening because they have clips of different people that go on with their videos and say certain things. And some are famous people. Some people I have no idea who they are and they never say their name. But this one guy came on and said, just because you're not doing anything bad doesn't mean you deserve something good. And it took me a, a minute to to kind of soak that in. But it's forever changed my life. Just because you're not doing anything bad does not mean that you deserve something good. See, most of us walk around thinking that we deserve something good because we're told that. We're told from a young age, if you do good things, you know, good things will come to you in return. And to a large part, that's true. If you do bad things, like karma is real. Karma is real. But what we don't get to think is that, that we deserve things. Because just because you do good things doesn't mean necessarily good things are going to happen to you. They should, and oftentimes they do, but it doesn't mean they are going to. And it doesn't mean that you deserve them, even if you're doing good things. I know that's hard to swallow, that's hard to swallow. God is only going to bless you with what he decides to bless you with. And I guarantee you normally what he's going to bless you with is something that some, is going to bless someone else as well. Not just you. 
I keep telling you guys, we have to remove ourselves from these situations. I know that's hard to do because you're living your life, but you have to remove yourself because your life is not uniquely your own. You're here to be blessed by others and to bless others. That's what it's about. And until we realize that, you don't have real true success and happiness on the inside. You could get a bunch of money. It's a, a bunch of people out there with money who are not happy. Not happy with themselves, not happy with their lives, want to commit suicide. It's ridiculous the amount of people that have, that are privileged, but still are not happy. We see it all the time. People go from rags to riches and still are not happy. Because money is not going to make you happy. I woke up this morning happy because I'm a happy person. That's my personality. Anybody who knows me, I got a smile on my face. I always got jokes. I'm always playing around. Ever since I was little, I always play too much. Charles, you play too much. It's been that way and it's always going to be that way because that is who I am. So even if I'm broke or I got money, I got jokes. I'm talking trash. I'm loving life. That's just the way it is because that's who I am. And I don't deserve anything just because of that. Just because people might like me. That doesn't mean you deserve good things. And that doesn't mean good things are going to happen to me. Good things are going to happen to me because I go make them happen. If you want something good, you have to go get it. You don't just deserve it. I'm tired of all this manifest talk. For a little while, I was on that train too. This whole manifest. I'm going to manifest. Most people don't manifest things. They just think about them. They hope for them. They don't even know what it actually means to manifest something. Because you have to come from a spiritual mindset to do something that powerful. And most people are not in a spiritual state to even think about making something like that happen. So let's get off that train. If you want something in life, you got to go get it. You got to earn it. You don't deserve it. You got to go get it. You got to be a go-getter. And some things God is just going to bless certain people with. Life is not fair. It never has been and it never will be fair. Accept it and deal with it. We all have for the most part. It's never going to be fair. So you don't get just what you want out of life. You get what God is um, good enough to bless you with. And what you are willing to go out and earn. For the longest times, I wanted to do things in music and I still want to do things in music that's my primary goal but for um, a while at first I was waiting on opportunities I was waiting on opportunities I'm like I'm a good singer I'm a good songwriter my phone's gonna ring it never happened it still doesn't happen most opportunities that I've had I went after when I opened for Belle Bill DeVoe, I asked for it. When I opened for Tyler Kweli a couple times, I asked for it. Any of the shows that I got, I went after. Nobody called my phone and, and, and offered me an opportunity. I've called plenty of local artists and offered them shows on my stages and, and most don't do the same in return. I have some, you know, when they do shows, they want me to rock out with them and I appreciate and love those people. For, for the most part, I know a call is not coming. If I want to be in a show, I got to make a show. That's how it's been for me. I don't know about anybody else. I got to go after everything I want. I don't deserve it. Just because I'm good at what I do, I don't deserve it. If I want it, I got to go get it. And that's as simple as that. So we got to get out of this mindset of thinking that we deserve things. I deserve a good man. How you deserve a good another human being? How you deserve that? Just because you're a good person? And half the time, we think we deserve things that we are not ourselves. You think you deserve somebody good, but you're not somebody good. How does that work? 
you think you deserve this job, but you don't have the skills to be good at this job. How does that work? You think you deserve an opportunity to shine, but you ain't ready to shine. How does that work? Because somebody told you you deserve this. You did. Might have been your mama. Bless her heart. Might have been your mama. She told you you deserve good things because she loved you. Bless her heart. But you don't deserve anything. You might be blessed with something. That's true. You might be blessed with something you know you don't deserve. <laughs> Come on. Come on. How many times have you got something you know you don't deserve? You know you haven't worked for. But God blessed with you with it anyway. But when things like that happen, we're not grateful. We become entitled. And when you become entitled and you think you deserve something, when you finally get it, you don't appreciate it. Come on, man. When you think you deserve something and you finally get it, you don't appreciate it because you, the whole time, you thought you deserved it. Oh, I should have had this anyway. I've been waiting for this. I should have had this a long time ago. Instead of being grateful and appreciative that you got something, that's where some people's mindset goes. Stop. So maybe this is an encouragement today. This is a reality check. You don't deserve anything. You only get two things things that God is willing to bless you with and things you go out and earn. That is it. Nothing more. You deserve nothing. You may get certain things. You may get certain things that you work hard for and you may get certain things that you don't work hard for. That's a blessing from God. As simple as that. It ain't got nothing to do with you. God had to make that happen to make his plan work. Something that's on a level that you might not even understand. So if I can encourage you today, remove yourself from your situation. Shake off that entitlement and get up and get to work. Because you don't deserve anything. You only get what God blesses you with and what you go out and you work for. So stop waiting for life to happen to you and go out and make life happen. Stop sitting there waiting for that man or that job or that woman or that opportunity and get up and go out there and make an opportunity. Show the world what you are all about and what you are capable of. And the universe will probably respond. And it's people out there that go out there and do that and still don't get the things that they desire. Because in the, you never deserved it in the first place. It's not about you deserving it. It's about the universe granting it to you. So we have to shake off that arrogance about ourselves thinking that we deserve things because we don't. Life is hard and it's a struggle, but you're going to have to fight for everything that you truly desire. And until you understand that, you truly won't be happy on the inside. I'm about to go tear this gym apart today because I woke up in a happy place. And I'm going to keep my mindset in that place. So most days I wake up with this type of energy. I might not have it every single day, but it's going to be there most days. Not because I have money. Not because I have all the things I have, that I desire, but because that's who I am on the inside. So give me a bunch of money, I'm going to be happy. Take a bunch of money away from me, I'm still going to be happy because you can't hurt me. 
I'm in control of my emotions. So please understand, you don't deserve anything. That's not saying that you're a bad person. You just don't deserve things. You have to earn things. Or God may be willing to bless you with certain things. That's my time. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe. We doing some special things over here. I know you hear it. I know you see it. I know you see we working. I'm going to add some more music. I'm going to mix some more of my music into these videos pretty soon too. So y'all better be ready. That Better Man Chronicles album is kicking. And I just heard another beat for this Better Man Chronicles 2. I'm going to have to cop it today. It's already done. It's like it's already happened. I haven't got it yet, but it's already happened. This guy put something in me. Once he puts something in me, that's just the way it is. But I want to thank you guys for continuing to rock with me and understand you got to work for anything that you want or else you're probably not going to get it. That's my time. Peace all my people in the struggle.